Alright, I'm going to show you how to make these half blocks that I've been making for the ends of the walls. Uh, so you start off with a full size tire, um, the same size as whatever row you're on. So this row is 225, and these tires are 225. So I'm wanting this all to be one line here. So I kind of kind of just use my body. It's just rough for now. And then I've got a pencil. I'm just going to kind of mark underneath the angle that I'm going to be cutting. And then same thing on the top. So now I know where I'm going to need to cut it. And then I'll show you the method I use for cutting it. All right, so this is the tire we just marked. Uh, you can see kind of my angles right there. So this is the section that we're gonna be cutting out, and then this will be what we're saving to use. Um, so I'm just gonna go and I'll cut along those angles, just with, I've just got a little sawzall uh, with a metal blade. Uh, so I'll kind of show you, I'm gonna cut along there, and then along the back to connect those cuts. Um, so we're gonna save the tread section. It'll be cut down the middle back here. So I'll kind of do a little time lapse and show you how to do that. Now that I've got it all cut out, um, I didn't go all the way through with the bead here. And the reason for that is there's a thick cable going through here. Um, and it's you can get through it with the metal blade on the sawzall, but you're gonna burn through some blades and it's gonna take you some time. Um, it's pretty easy to get through here. Um, there is metal all through here, but it's just tiny strands and it goes pretty easy. But the method I use for cutting the bead is I've just got these 24 inch bolt cutters. Um, it can be kind of awkward, but if you just get it in there, so you kind of hear it crunching. You might have to take a few passes at it. Uh, the first one's kind of the hardest because it's still all together. So a little bit of rubber. There we go. And then we'll just do the same thing for all four of those beads. So. Alright, so just to give you an up close view, you can kind of see those metal strands, see if I can get it to focus, inside the tread there. And then that's the big bead that we were cutting through with the bolt cutters. So like I said, yeah, you can get through that with a sawzall, but it will take you some time and it'll burn through some blades. Um, Another thing to add, you can kind of see that I'm not cutting exactly perpendicular to the tire. I kind of go in at it with like a 45 degree angle. Um, I'm not sure why, but it seems to cut a lot easier that way. Um, so we'll get this tire where it's going to go and get it screwed in and show you how to do that. And then we'll start filling it. 
once we've got the tire all cut and ready to go, I'm going to spread it around the tire before it. Push this where you want it to be. And then we'll get some screws and screw this tread in. You're going to want the tread to be pretty much horizontal. Uh, you don't want it sloping down or up. Uh, just kind of matching the tread before it. So we'll get some screws in there. Should be ready to put some cardboard in and start going. All right, so I'm about to start screwing in that tread. I just wanted to show kind of an example. I've just got a bunch of random screws. Uh, they're pretty short. A uh, big thing I would try is get screws where the threads go all the way. Um, if you're not going through that thick of material, so something like this, where it's going all the way to the head. Um, you can see this one, it's got a little gap, but it's got a nice big head on it too. Um, what will happen is uh, these threads will get caught in that metal uh, that we saw on the inside of it and just kind of twist it up and it stays pretty tight in there. So the shortest screws, you really can just burn through any sort of screws that, that you've got. Alright, so I've got the screws. Make sure, double check the tire is where I want it to be. And then I'll get that tread nice and parallel with the tread below it. And then I can start putting screws in. You can kind of push this section in. And I usually use the big headed screws for this one. You can see it just sucks it right in. I usually use about eight to ten screws uh, per side. Yeah, and that'll do it, and then I'll just do the same thing on the other side. All right, so we got both sides of the tread. All screwed in and secured and then just taking a look inside you can see those angles that we cut that one maybe could have been a little better but they're not too bad um, we'll go ahead and fill this with cardboard and then fill it with dirt and start pounding it uh, these points down here are the main points that you got to worry about dirt falling out of um, so when you're doing your cardboard you can make sure it's those are covered um, but yeah, get some cardboard in it and then fill it up and pound it just like any other tire. You'll level it all the way across um, and then when you're finished, it should look like this one over here. It's all fully pounded and that's the finished product. Some people do say that these, it's too much work to cut tires like this and they'd rather do the lath basket with concrete but I think that's just as hard uh, mixing a batch of concrete and trying to fill it up it's more expensive and probably takes just as long probably took me about 10 minutes to get that tire cut and screwed in um, maybe a little longer because I was trying to film it but um, it takes about 10 minutes so the last step for these half blocks is I've been pounding maybe a four foot uh, piece of rebar through every course. So every course I've been adding one. So it'll be, by the end, each tire will have a few things of rebar through it. Uh, this will just give it some stability uh, going back and forth um, so the wall doesn't fall in or out. Um, there will be a wing wall and a berm to kind of support it that way. But since there's no curve or anything in it, just to give it some extra strength. I've just been pounding rebar through.
So I'll go ahead and pound one in through here. So this is the final product. You can see these little sides here, they're kind of sticking up a little bit, um, but when you put the level across and you push down on them, it's all level. So the weight of the next tire will push these down and they'll be where they need to be. Um, but you can see all those screws that we put in, they're holding up nice and strong. And we've got that coming straight down. So yeah, this is the finished product.